on behalf of the Kirby Institute and all of us here, I'd like to uh, thank Senator Singh for a wonderful opening. Senator Singh comes from one of my favourite states, Tasmania. She's also uh, remarkable for her support for a number of issues, not just HIV and related diseases, but also her work in relation to, to women's health and human rights and, and refugees and a number of other issues that I think are very close to the hearts of a number of us. Um, but I think most important, as she explained, she represents the parliamentary liaison group, which symbolises the way that Australia has responded to AIDS, HIV and, and related diseases. It has not been a divisive political issue and, and, and so we're very, very grateful to Senator Singh to have joined us to open the conference today. Um, the health, Federal Health Minister, Greg Hunt, also had wished to join us today, uh, and in the end his schedule did not allow that, but he's kindly provided a brief video and will appear uh, for, as a, in a pre-recorded video, and uh, so I'll, I'll now ask the, that that video be, be played. ...everybody to today's Professor David Cooper Symposium. It's a sad day, but it's also a beautiful day. It's a sad day because this symposium is happening without David. The beauty is that his work, his legacy, his contribution, as uh, Ian has already set out, lives, abides, will remain, and has helped transform the world as we know it. And there are so few people of whom that can be said on not just a national, but on a global level. And only, only on Monday, David was posthumously honoured with an AC. I don't think that would have mattered to him. That's not who he was and that's not what he was about. But it was the nation's way of recognising and recording and honouring his work. And what a life it was. His work at Dana-Farber uh, Dana in Boston where uh, he saw so many of along with others helped piece together the patterns. He brought that back to Sydney. He was the inaugural director of the Kirby Institute uh, over three decades ago and through that he helped provide a foundation for the develop or development of the therapeutics sector and the therapeutic drugs that have given people the capacity to, uh, to live with and to prosper despite a diagnosis of being HIV positive. Something which was simply unimaginable three decades ago and even two decades ago and was still only a hope one decade ago. And that notion that no person who contracts HIV need lose their life to it in Australia is incredible. And around the world, because of the generics which are available, it's increasingly becoming a reality for people, not just in developed, but in developing countries. I recently met uh, with senior leaders at the Texas Medical Centre. And you know what? They talked to me about their work in developing countries. And they singled one person out without knowing about this symposium today, Professor David Cooper. So there you go. David, I know you're not with us in person, but you are with every person who is here in spirit. To know that around the world, your name, your legacy, your memory is acknowledged and honoured is something profound. And that's had an impact also, of course, on Australian policy. I was recently privileged to announce the $180 million listing of uh, PrEP, of the uh, 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 prophylaxis uh, for pre-exposure -expo uh, on the uh, pharmaceutical benefits scheme. And this gives us the means, this gives us the opportunity of achieving the goal of zero transmission in Australia. It's not just a hollow, goal. It's not just a vain pledge. We can achieve that now 
if we combine that with safe practices as well. And so now's the moment when we have the understanding, the treatments, but also the preventive capability. And if we combine those things, we can honour David and fulfil his legacy. And yes, there are many other things that we are doing uh, in, uh, in this space through our work, but perhaps the most important is the last, and that is to build not just on HIV, but to take David's passion for applied research and make that the fundament of what's being done through the Medical Research Future Fund. And only a few weeks ago, we announced a 10-year, $500 million national genomics mission. And that's about prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and cure. The ability to tailor medicines, to tailor results, to ensure that uh, we are able to look at our genetics and our proteomics and to give people a treatment which until now was beyond imagination, let alone beyond capability. And this will come in just the same way as three decades ago, uh, a cure and a prevention for HIV was impossible. We will, in time, and I hope sooner rather than later, have the genomic capabilities to treat people for so many other profound and chronic conditions. So David, in your absence, we honour you, we thank you, and perhaps most significantly, we recommit to your task of saving lives and protecting lives through applied research.